Now as we come in section 3 to the PL imperfect, you'll notice the similar method. A PL imperfect, because it is a PL, has a doubled second root letter. Being the imperfect, it is the application of the prefixes and suffixes which you already know to now this different root form. So the forms of the PL imperfect will have the same prefixes, yod, tav, ayin, and nun, and they'll have the same where applicable suffixes, like the hirek yod in the second feminine singular, or the shurek in the third masculine plural. These prefixes and suffixes are now just applied to a form that has a doubled second root letter. The vocalization of the PL imperfect then would be as follows. Yukatel, tukatel, tukatel, tukateli, ukatel, yukatelu, tukatelna, tukatelu, tukatelna, and nukatel. Notice that in every case, the second root letter is doubled. Notice at well, as well that because that second root letter is doubled, any time there is a schwa underneath it, that must be a vocal schwa. You'll also want to note that the first common singular form takes a compound schwa. That's because the prefix is a guttural, the aleph. The point will be not to reconstruct every possible verb form, but to be able to parse and recognize the forms when you see a PL. The tip-offs to let you know that you are dealing with a PL imperfect are three. First and foremost is that doubled second root letter. Second is the presence of a schwa under the prefix letter, a compound schwa in the first common singular, but a schwa in every other case and typically a patak, the short A vowel, under the first root letter. So the form for the third masculine singular, for instance, is y ka tail. You have a doubled second root letter, a vocal schwa under the prefix, and a patak under the first root letter.